in-depth discussion coverage of the short-term rental debate continues this morning. Last hour, we heard from the co-founder of HomeAway and the need for these uh, types of rentals. And now we have council members uh, who are wanting to support this, including Mayor Pro Tem Kathy Tovo. Good morning to Good morning. you. Morning. Thank you for being here. Explain to me your support of phasing out these Type 2 STRs, short-term rentals. Why should we do this? Well, we have two, two kinds of short-term rentals in Austin. One are homeowners who might go away for a couple of weeks uh, during South by Southwest or yep. during ACL and they want to rent out their homes. And I support those rentals continuing. It allows homeowners to have some extra income and it allows visitors to Austin to stay in a home if sure. that's their preference. Uh, what we also have, though, are what I term commercial short-term rentals. These are properties that 100% of the time really function as hotels within our neighborhoods. and. I'm very supportive of removing those from our residential neighborhoods to okay. phase those out over time. What is the problem with having them function as hotels if that is their want or a desire to do that? Well, as we've seen, it certainly creates problems um, for many neighbors. We have a, a history in Austin of really trying to separate intense commercial uses from residential areas. Many people prefer to live in residential areas rather than next door to a hotel where there are constant there's a constant changing of faces of visitors coming in and out. You no longer have neighbors, you really have um, have visitors in and out and a constant changing of, of a stream of people. And so um, it, it's really important, I think, to preserving the integrity of our neighborhood. Okay. Um, we also are noticing that many of, many of the areas that have clustering of short-term rentals, of these commercial short-term rentals that 100% of the time function as, as many hotels, mm -hmm. um, also fall in areas where we have declining public school enrollment um, and increasing costs. And I believe that short-term rentals are clearly not um, the causal factor, but they're contributing to that situation. So what's bad for that neighborhood is it bad for the rest of Austin. I, I'm wondering why should people who are watching right now care if they have no interest in short-term rentals whatsoever here in Austin? Well, what we saw in 2012 when we passed the first ordinance and created a pilot program for short-term rentals, we saw that, that short-term rentals were located in a couple central neighborhoods at that point. Um, but Councilmember Morrison and I actually drafted an editorial at that time and talked about uh, our theory that they would probably start to move into East Austin and a little further north and that's exactly what's happened. They have started to spread outside the central area and really this call in 2015 from neighbors who were concerned um, happened largely from from some of those neighborhoods in East Austin and in uh, slightly north central Austin where they were noticing a proliferation of commercial short-term rentals where again 100 percent of the time those what had been homes, what had been long-term rentals, were now functioning as, as many hotels. And my last question is the CEO um, of HomeAway, Brian, was on our show and he was saying, you know what, council member, this really just happened with a handful of people who were upset with just a small amount of homes who were turning into not what they wanted in their neighborhood. What's the reality uh, of the numbers? How many short-term rentals are we talking about here in Austin that fall under type two? Well, right now we have in the neighborhood of 400 or so, I believe it's about 430 type two commercial short-term rentals. Okay. Um, but we could have, under the existing ordinance, up to 3% of the housing stock throughout the city. And so, you know, as we talk about an increasing, increasing housing prices, as we talk about a need for long-term rentals for Austin residents, I think we need to really look carefully, very carefully, at a program that allows 3% of our housing stock to be converted for visitors rather than for Austin families. Okay, yes or no, is this discussion gonna be wrapped up today or are we continuing on after this? Oh, I never can give a prediction about that. I hope so. I, I hope, hope so. we wrap it up. All right.